so this whitetail hunt is primarily a, a migration hunt so the deer uh, summer up high you start getting um, lots of deep snow and it pushes them there's a big pulse of deer that come through and then they winter down in the lower areas and we've missed that we've missed that main migration um, and so we're just kind of hunting the tail end of that just a few stragglers that are left hunting these white tails on the ground with a stick bow is about as difficult to hunt as you're ever gonna find they are so keen and you just can't get away with anything Knock knock, are you decent? What's up, stranger? So buddy. Good to see you. Hey buddy, how are you? What's happening, big guy? How you doing, man? You need a beer? Of course I need a beer. Teague. I'm Vance. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. I done screwed up. We gave him an education on tire chains and I didn't film it. I'm like, oh please get a shit. <laughs> you had to explain to me what, what tire chains were, of course. <laughs> and I had to take a picture so I could show everybody in Georgia what a tire chain was. <laughs> <laughs> Not much call for chains in Georgia, huh? Not a whole lot. Hey, man. Hey. This is Anthony. Anthony is Clay. Good, Good to meet you, Anthony. Anthony. Teague. Teague. Nice yep. to meet you. Good to meet you. Good. Well, you seeing anything? The important stuff. Yesterday, we saw, we set a stand up here on the upper road and saw six and um, one decent buck, 120, 130 inches maybe. Well, there's there's a bunch of old sign but it's they I don't I think they're done up there yeah. um, we haven't we glassed a few deer down around turkey knob uh, I haven't been over there but we're not seeing the numbers like you know we have in years previous yeah it shouldn't take me that long to clear a spot and put my tent up okay and stuff I figure that way we're not burning hunting light you can't dig a hole, it's got to be nice and level. Well, Anthony, you're an engineer, you figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Not that kind of engineer. <laughs> yeah, you can work this. <laughs> Did she bring y'all any? That's some good stuff right there. That is good, isn't it? That is very tasty. Where'd those spoons go there? She got a video on that one? Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna have to have Hannah. Oh, man. Yeah, the yeah. chicharronas. Mm hmm. Oh, man, class delicious.
18 degrees. Ought to be a fun morning. <laughs> <laughs> I can't feel my toes already. Um, so Vance is with me today. We're gonna just hike up this ridge, find a, a decent trail uh, where they've been coming off this north face, brushy north facing slope. And just I'm gonna set Vance up and then I'm gonna head up and up a little bit farther, post up on another trail, hopefully catch them when they come out if Vance can get up the hill without passing out. Well, we got uh, about two more of those will be there. I think two more of those and you'll be there. We don't have that in Georgia. I'll go up there at a more leisurely pace. I'll right. get up there. Well, I'll go up there and wait on you. You going straight up? Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, pretty much. Something like that. I'm going to hook around here because they're all going to be bedded over there. Okay. So we got a. Um, South face and slope, which is open. That's where the deer are going to be feeding at. And then on this north face, all brushy, that's where they bed. So theoretically, that's where they are right now. And they should come over the ridge to feed. And so. So they're better in the ravines? Yeah. So we're going to try to cut them off. Yeah. This is not your average whitetail hunt where you drive the truck park and maybe walk a few hundred yards to a tree stand this is a very very physical hunt you are climbing mountains chasing these deer the odds of success on this hunt i guess would depend on how you define success but uh, as far as bringing home an animal not to a tag uh, it's pretty low but it's still something that I look forward to every year. It's a very unique, very fun hunt. If you define success as having an adventure, having a great time, uh, I think it's hard to fail. Anytime you get to spend time in country like this with nothing dragging you back to the modern world uh, I think that's a win no emails no phone calls no distractions winter in the mountains will redefine your understanding of comfort it's got a way of raising a warm fire and a hot meal to the absolute pinnacle of comfort Now some of you might be watching this and wondering why I am not shooting, but the reaction time on these animals is incredibly fast. Shooting at an alert white tail rarely works out the way that we want it to. It's best just to keep that arrow on the string and wait for a better opportunity. I think we are gonna head back to camp, cook us up some breakfast or lunch by this time and uh, get back out there this evening.
Now that right there is the bacon, egg, and cheese. So we've got a logging road right here that wraps around this this ridge and so we've got this four-way intersection right here I think I'm just gonna get right back in here underneath this dead tree and hollow out a little spot that uh, the winds kind of going off the hill right now so we'll just uh, cut some branches brush in a little blind back here and just sit here for a little while see if anything comes by seeing deer so now we just got to get close to one and in a good position and just ease up on this knob and look around and then we'll probably head to the back side of this ridge and go up a little bit so we can get above these deer
That was a good ending to the day. A good stalk on a little little doe and a little one-horned buck. And I was within, I don't know, maybe 35 yards, but that's a poke on a on a whitetail. So I tried to push it a little bit. I thought I could get down this hill and get a little bit closer to her, but these little, um, I don't know what those are, weeds were tapping against my bow and she heard that and uh, locked on to me. But it was fun. All together I hunted for seven days and although I had several close encounters, I never shot an arrow. But one of the big differences between hunting and killing is that hunting takes effort and it's far from certain. This is the last hunt for this calendar year, but we're gonna pick it up in January down in Florida chasing hogs. So be sure to stick around.